All right, guys, we're out here in the fur shed tonight, and uh, you see, this is the same coon that I uh, made the skinning video on. We're gonna stick with him. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and get started fleshing this, and uh, just to go ahead and answer some questions. I'm sure I'd get in the comments. My fleshing beam is a PVC pipe, just kind of like has a chunk cut out of it with the edges rounded off. And my knife is the Necker 6000. You can see I've had three knives now. I use this knife, this white's all rusty. I use it to beat salt off of the hides whenever I tan them. So that's what I started with. That's like a $12 knife. And then this is a step up. That's about a $20 knife probably. And then now I've got my Necker knife. So this is by far my favorite knife and uh, yeah. I went ahead and I accidentally started on this thing. I forgot that I was going to video myself, but basically what you're doing whenever you flesh an animal is, this is the same for any animal, all you're doing is you're pushing off the fat and all that meat and membrane and the stuff that can rot and just ruin a hide and it's going to help further preserve it. So yes, yeah, so all we're going to do is you have a sharp side on your knife and you have a dull side on your knife, a pushing edge. So your sharp side, you don't want to push with your sharp side. You want to do a slicing motion. You're kind of going to push it like that. And I like to kind of hold it like that. Just with my thumb kind of right there. Just take it and start right behind the ears. In the backs of these coons necks, I don't know why, but especially on the big boar coons, they're extremely tough. Now they suck. And when fleshing, you want to make as few passes as you can. It'll help prevent the burnt hair. So you can see pretty much the hardest part of fleshing this thing is over. We got the neck started now. See, from here down, it's all clean now. So what we're gonna do is for a hanger knife, flip it around to the pushing side, and we're just gonna see how I'm going up. I'm pushing my arms, I'm extending them. So just in that motion, set there, work that fat feet off of. See, I got a little bit of membrane Right there, I'm going to work that off with my sharp side. Oh, I about slipped up right there. Now, we're not going to go ahead and push it off. We're going to work all the fat and meat down to here, right to about the edge of the hide. Now what we're going to do is simply just take your coon and then flip them to a part that you've not flushed yet. So now I like to have it where his ears are right here and you flush right there. So make sure you get all the fat and stuff off your knife so you can make nice clean cuts. So you'll go again right behind the ear to start that slicing motion again. Okay, now that we got most of this part right here in the neck pushed down, take our knife again, flip it, work it down. thing. Take our ride. Turn him. There we go. This will be the last part of it. We're on the stomach side of him. Now, I should mention, if you're doing a salcoon, a female one, 
it'll have teats and you have to go really, really, really gentle over those or else you'll actually pop the teats open and you'll make little holes in it. And uh, yeah, but if it's a male coon, boar coon, you shouldn't have to worry about that too much. But the stomachs on any animals, they're real thin. And for me, it really doesn't matter that much because I don't sell in the fur market. I just tan the hide and I make hats and I don't use the stomachs for anything. So if I make a big hole in this, it's no big deal. Now also under the armpits on any animal, that's also really tender. You'll make a hole in that real easy. So go real gentle under those. Make sure you get all that. So there you go. Okay, now we'll take it back up here and the reason we don't just go ahead and push this stuff off so you don't have to worry about hurting your back because if you go ahead and work that off notice how my back's pushed I'm pushing all the way down here and that's like making my back bend well, I could just keep it straight just keep pulling the height up with me so I'm not hunched over so now what we're gonna do is just take our push inside. We're gonna push all that stuff off. And for the tail, what you do is you do a motion like this. You'll take it and go that way, that way, that way, that way, that way, that way. Just push the fat off the tail. So. There you go. Be careful you don't accidentally push the tail off. I've done that a time or two. But yeah. Now, all you're going to do is just go around the edges and just take that stuff right off. Push the stuff off the legs, push that fat and stuff until it's clean. There you go, last little portion. Let's take it and then there you have it. He's ready to board. So let's go ahead and check him out. There he is, Snow White. And uh, actually, I want to try something. Here, this will work. I saw a guy on YouTube, Coon Creek Outdoors, do this. So, here's a piece of Snow White paper towel. This will tell you if these coons are prime yet. They should be about the same color. I had a guy comment in my last video, are the coons prime yet? And uh, the answer is yes. They're ready to go now. You see, coons... Early season coons will actually be blue. No, I've got a one hanging up right here. Actually, I can show you guys. But uh, yeah, you don't. The blue coons they don't go for as much in the market. You'll get a dollar or two out of them. But uh, let me throw him somewhere. Just set him right there. And I'll show you guys this blue coon. Okay. Here you go. You can see he's blue. And uh, these coyotes, they're blue too. So somebody actually, coyote hunters, dropped me off uh, coyotes. That's how I shot that thing right in the butt. And then I didn't make that hole. Somebody like shot it and it just tore that thing open. And you can see I actually skinned the feet on this coyote. And then, yeah, that's a big one. That's a 50 incher, I'm pretty sure. But uh, yeah. Here's one coon. I'm going to get bored in tonight, and then I got two deer in that fridge over there. I got to get fleshed up, and it's 9.30, and I got school tomorrow, so fun night, fun night. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and make another video on boarding this guy up. 
So, thank you guys yeah. for watching. If you enjoy this content, make sure to subscribe and there'll be plenty more of it. So yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.